today I am going to discuss about Cubex selected skill worker and the process to apply permanent residency through Cubex selected skill worker program. Friends, first of all, I like to request you to subscribe this channel because if you subscribe this channel, you will get notification of the videos of this channel in future guys lots of people around the world try to immigrate to canada for quality of life but due to lack of information they are unable to migrate they hire consultants and go to consultancy for immigration advice but consultancy charge too much money that some people cannot afford so for such people i'm going to make this video so that you can apply quebec selected skill worker for yourself and even consultant and consultancy people can watch this video for reference to represent their client guys First of all, let us discuss about Quebec Selected Skill Worker. Quebec Selected Skill Worker is program of Canadian government for permanent residency and there are different states in Canada and Quebec is one of them and Quebec has its own rules and regulation for immigration and competitive to express entry program Quebec selected skill worker is very easier in criteria for express entry you need at least 7.5 and 8 band to immigrate as permanent residency if you have less than seven band in IELTS you have less chance to get permanent residency of Canada but for Quebec skill worker if you can score six there is high chance that you get permanent residency through Quebec selected skill worker although the IELTS minimum criteria is 5.5 for listening and speaking so let's discuss all the steps so what is the process guys so this is the application process for a skilled worker who want to become permanent residents of Canada and live in Quebec and Quebec has a special agreement with government of Canada and I already discussed province has its own rule for choosing immigrants who will adapt well to living there so first of all you have to apply for Quebec selection certificate and for that for that you have to apply to government of Quebec and once you apply the province of Quebec will assess your file using its own rule and if government of Quebec accept you as an immigrant the province of Quebec will give you Quebec selection certificate and after that you can apply to immigration refugee and citizenship Canada for permanent residence by the help of Quebec selection certificate so first of all you have to apply to Quebec government for CSQ after that getting CSQ you have to apply to central government of citizenship and immigration refugee Canada for permanent residence now let's discuss who can apply guys I already told you about Quebec selection certificate so you can apply as Quebec selected skill worker if you hold a Quebec selection certificate and submit a complete permanent residence application including police certificate so this is the second step 
after getting CSU, you have to submit a complete permanent residence application, including police certificate, to Citizenship and Immigration Department of uh, Canada Central Government. So, how to apply? That? So, let's see how to apply. First of all, to province of Quebec government to get Quebec selection certificate. First of all, you have to get the application packet fill it print and sign all the forms and you have to answer all the questions carefully completely and truthfully no any fake statement guys and no any fake document no any fake certificate be careful if you uh, if you send any fake documents any fake certificate there is highest chance for rejection of your application so please don't send any fake certificates you have to answer all the questions carefully completely truthfully and uh, submit genuine documents and you have to pay processing fee processing fee initially you have to pay guys when you submit your application after that when you get csq or during the processing time also you can pay right of permanent residency fee and biometric fee so let's uh, make you clear so from 2018 uh, quebec government and canadian government uh, has uh, issued new rules regarding biometric that every person who apply for permanent residency should provide biometric and if you hire uh, consultants and if you go to consultancy to represent your application you have to pay third party fee so third party fee may be uh, dependent upon consultancy they may charge you two thousand dollar five thousand dollar ten thousand dollar big because there is no fixed rate and it, it, it depends upon consultancy and depends upon uh, different uh, country consultancy rules so this is third party fee but if you can apply yourself you can save this money because this is big money you spend for permanent residency in the context of india and nepal people pay more than 5 lakhs 6 lakhs some people pay 10 lakhs rupees to consultants and to consultancy to represent their file for permanent residency of canada so you can save this money guys if you watch this video and surf some websites canadian government immigration websites and use your own techniques to represent your own file it is not so tough so i request you to apply yourself to save your money and apply immigration so guys let's discuss about application package so for application Uh, cannot miss any documents so you must keep a copy of completed forms and all documents before sending them to CIO so centralized intake office 
so once you fill your document please be sure to make photocopies of these documents that you have signed and you are going to send to immigration office of Quebec so first one is generic application form to Canada second one is background declaration so background declaration should be completed give date and signed by everyone in the list everyone means principal applicant your uh, principal applicant spouse each dependent child over the age of 18 if dependent child is less than 18 no need to uh, no need to provide signature provide your detailed personal history from the 10 years or since the age of 18 and your job history your period of unemployment study vacation all these so next one is additional dependent if you have dependent you have to fill this section 2 supplementary information of your travels and for economic class provincial nominee completed and signed by the principal applicant so declaration of intent to reside in Quebec economic class completed by principal applicant so the principal applicant need to fill this form also and if you have additional family you need to fill this form to additional family information and the form should be signed by principal applicant spouse and each dependent child over 18 use of representative if you are hiring consultant to represent your file and travel documents and passports you have to submit your passports document and uh, be sure that your passport is not expired and there is photo name date and place of birth and you must have valid regular passport not diplomatic official service or public affairs passport so uh, be sure to have your regular passport and next one is certificate deselection de Quebec so certificate the select uh, Quebec selection certificate you need when you apply to central government so proof of language proficiency identity and civil status documents identity and civil status documents means birth certificate legal documents showing name or date of birth marriage certificate divorce certificate death certificate of former spouse spouse common law partners national ids and if you have common law partner complete and include statutory declarement of common law union and provide evidence that you have cohabited with your partner for a period of least 12 continuous month and all your children information like children birth certificate adoption paper issues proof of custody and if your child is was locked in before August 1st 2014 also submit proof of continuous full-time studies of all dependent children age 22 or over including complete school records transcripts since attaining age 22 letters from school proof of full financial support by parent since reaching age 22 police certificate and clearance photo requirement fee payment in acceptable forma format and mail your complete application to CIO in Sydney, Nova Scotia. And you have to check all the application whether it is complete or not. So guys, let me make you clear that uh, you need police certificate at end uh, of uh, when your uh, when your application is approved and uh, when you already got your Quebec selection certificate and when you are going to apply to to central office uh, of immigration of Canada at that moment you need police certificate medical certificate and once your uh, CSQ is approved at that after that you can pay right for permanent residency fee but for uh, at initial 
time you need to apply to Quebec election certificate to Quebec government and you need to pay processing fee first of all so we have already discussed all the document checklist and i have already discussed about generic application application form additional declaration dependent so once you fill all these forms and arrange all the document you have to send document to quebec government that is centralized intake office in sydney nova scotia and cio will check to see if your application is complete if it is the cio will send it to the office serving your reason to be processed and the office will contact you if they need other documents from you when they start processing of your application so guys uh, let me make you clear once again first of all you have to apply to quebec government and you need to fill all the required forms you have already seen in this document checklist section and once you get quebec select selection certificate you have to apply to central government of canada for permanent residency so guys let let me discuss about fee section so you have to select from where you are paying suppose if you are paying from nepal and what type of application you are paying suppose you are paying other application and service for example permanent residence and which program we are discussing about quebec selected skill worker and if there is any dependent child you have to pay 150 and if you you or your family need to give biometric pay your biometric fee at the same time you pay your other fee make sure you pay using the same payment method so biometric uh, fee is per person 85 canadian dollar and uh, biometric family two or more you need to pay 170 canadian dollar so how you can pay your fee guys remember to include your proof of payment receipt with your application keep a copy for your record if you pay the wrong fee or don't use one of the method listed below immigration office will return your application without processing but once your application start processing immigration office will not refund your fee as this as discussed on the website so you can also pay online guys by using your credit or debit card if you are if you live in asian countries some people do not have credit or debit card in that condition you may use uh, different payment method like uh, you can use bank draft and check payment so thank you for watching this video guys uh, please comment and feedback and subscribe this channel thank you